the great mahabharat war would not have been fought if it wasn't for shakuni and his game of chaucer it is this game that made the pandavas lose their kingdom their wealth and eventually themselves and draupadi as servants to duryodhan it was this game that led to draupadi's vastraharan and all this because of one man and his magical tools shakuni and his magical dice while it is often understood that the kauravas did not win the game of chaucer by fair means and that it was shakuni's dice that did the tricks to defeat the pandavas not many people know what was this magical dice all about where did shakuni get his magical dice from the story begins before the marriage of dhritarashtra when he was just a prince when gandhari was of marriageable age her father the king of gandhar also known as gandhar naresh showed the horoscope of his daughter to better understand her future and prospects of marriage it was later known that gandhari had a dosha in her horoscope and it indicated that her first husband would die leaving her a widow to avert this on an astrologer's advice gandhari was married to a goat later this goat was killed to fulfill the predictions of the horoscope and resolve the problem in her destiny upon this event gandhari was free to marry any one of her choice and that would be considered her second marriage thus saving the life of her real husband when pitama bhishma brought the trashtas proposal for gandhari she readily accepted to be the wife of the prince her father wanted her to reconsider her decision of marrying a blind man but gandhari was sure about her decision her youngest brother shakuni was the one who was extremely unhappy with the match for two reasons one being dhritarashtra's blindness and the other because dhritarashtra had been overlooked to become the king of hastinapur due to his disability despite being the elder brother his younger brother pandu was given the throne to the kingdom although he expressed his disagreement in the decision eventually the decision was gandhari's and hence there was not much he could do gandhari goes on to become the wife of dhritarashtra and after a few years the secret of her first marriage with the goat comes out dhritarashtra and pandu were furious at gandhar naresh for hiding things from them they felt betrayed and in rage imprisoned all of gandhari's male family members including her father and her brothers dharma did not allow killing of prisoners of war so dhritarashtra decided to starve them slowly to death and would give them only one fistful of rice for the entire clan every day gandhari's family soon realized that they would all starve to death so they decided to sacrifice their share of food and give it to the youngest brother shakuni in hopes of keeping at least one man alive shakuni in front of his eyes saw his family starve to death one by one his father during his last days in the prison asked shakuni to take his bones and use them as a tool as a revenge to destroy the entire chandravanshi dynasty after the death of all his relatives shakuni did as he was told by his father he picked the bones of his father and created a pair of magical dice that would always obey him this dice would later be instrumental in shakuni's revenge plan later he talked his way out of prison became close to duryodhana and started on his evil plan of revenge which included the destruction of dhritarashtra's 100 sons to avenge the death of his family as interesting as the story may seem this is not a part of ved vyasa's mahabharat but is found in many local and regional versions of mahabharat in another version of the story shakuni's dice was made up of ivory his dice were not magical but it was shakuni's power of trickery and creating an illusion that enabled him to win the game of chaucer have you heard of any other versions to this story which version do you think is true and why let us know in the comments below